One personal question I'd like to ask you is, as you look back over the last 32 years of being involved in, in treating men for prostate cancer, what do you perceive your legacy to be? Or what are you most proud of, Dr. Kreitz? Well, that's a, that's a very easy question to answer. And in one word, it's the database. The database that we started in 1980, keeping up with all the patients. And we didn't do it for any particular reason except we were developing this new method. It had never been worked before. Seed implants followed by beam, what do we call prostrucision. And we want to know, does it work? Does it cure cancer? And the only way you can answer that question is keep up with all the patients you treated. And that's what I started doing. It was difficult to follow patients initially because we didn't we didn't have the PSA test, but when the PSA test came out in 87, we could really, really make judgments mm -hmm. as whether men's PSA went to below 0 0.2 or did not. Mm -hmm. so, so I started keeping the database for that reason. The second reason I started keeping it, okay, we're developing this technique. How can you make it better? How can you improve it? Unless you keep up with how patients are treated and what their results happen. Did they, were they cured or not cured? Should we go up on the dose or reduce the dose? What kind of problems did they have? So we can make adjustments for that. So keeping up with all these patients, we would answer those two fundamental questions. Does it actually cure cancer? Does it work? And how can we make it better? So keeping up with this database was something I think is the most unique thing that we have. And, and I might tell you, it was not done back then. It's not hardly done today. In fact, when I told a bunch of my doctor friends here in Atlanta, I was keeping up with patients, I said, I said, Frank, why are you doing such a thing? Just tell me you're a good doctor. People will come to you. And I said to myself, well, that sounds nice, but it didn't make any sense to me because we want to know it works. We want to cure people, not just treat them. And so the database, by far and away, is the most important thing. And from the database, we were then able to analyze and improve our program. From the database, we were able to write research papers, some 75 research papers on the treatment of prostate cancer that had been published in either, either major peer-reviewed medical journals or presented at major medical meetings like, like this recent AUA. And this is unheard of from private practice. Not people at Harvard or MD Anderson, you know, they do these things, but from private practice, and with the, the volume of patients we treated, no. And also to, for our own analysis to make things better and also to calculate these individual cure rates. Without the database, we couldn't do anything like that. We, can tell people, we could not tell a, a new man precisely what to expect. And so the database is clearly the most important thing we've done.